Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Hello guys, today I will show you a complete guide on how to install and play Red Dead Redemption 1 in 60 FPS. No BS, let's go straight to the video. First, you have to install Xenia from this site. Just click in Xenia Canary.zip and the file will be downloaded. Then move it wherever you want and unzip it in a folder. I will do it on desktop. You don't have to open it, like many YouTubers are telling you. Now, you need config file. In my opinion the best config file is this guy's config. It's just perfectly balanced. Just click Google Drive link and download it. Then drag it to the desktop, and extract it. To make it work, change the file's name like this. and drag it to your folder. Now you can open it if you want. In config file, you can change your settings that applies to entire Xenia. Click Ctrl F and type vsync. Change true to false. A little higher, you can change your resolution. If your PC is average, like mine, choose 720p. If it's better, choose 1080p. But, if you want a lot of FPS, or if your PC is very bad, reduce your resolution. Then scroll down, and delete all of these settings. Because they may conflict with virtual controller. Then go to your desktop. Right click and choose NVIDIA control panel. Click manage 3D settings. Then, go to program settings. Click add, and look for Xenia. If you don't see Xenia, on your list here, click browse. Go to your RDR1 folder, and from here, choose Xenia Canary EXE. Change settings, exactly like in the video, I will show you in a moment what it gave you. Keep in mind to click apply in the end. As you can see, setting VSync to false, and changing NVIDIA settings, brings much better performance to the game. If you want even better performance, install Red Dead patches. Just unzip it, and put it in your folder. I will show you an example for disk 1 version. Change unlock FPS to true, keep in mind to don't remove the space. In this file, you can change your in-game settings, set low resolution modes. Or if your PC is very bad, set performance setting, that means very low quality and no trees but at least your FPS is increasing. You can also enable cheats here, like infinite horse stamina, or infinite ammo. I personally keep it on false. But if you want, set it on true. Here is a table with my recommendation. If I had a weak, medium or beast computer,
the last step of Red Dead installation, is basically installing Red Dead Redemption. Initially, in this video I showed how, and where to install RDR1. Unfortunately, while editing the film, I realized that I can't do because, that. Because, that would be considered, as promoting piracy, breaking copyright law, etc. I don't want this video to get deleted, so you have to find RDR1 file on your own. But don't worry it's quite easy, so yeah. I will show you the video right after the installation. As always, unzip it, and put it in your folder. Your final folder should look like this. You are now all set to play on Xbox Pad. But if you are still watching this video, you probably want to know how to play on mouse and keyboard. To do this, just go to this site, to Anton Shabunin's blog. Scroll down, and search for Virtual Controller. He is not the best Xbox Pad simulator, but he is the easiest, and the fastest to configure. Download the latest version, and launch it. Go to Settings, and choose I.O. Devices. Go to Virtual tab and click Setup, then choose Xbox 360 Gamepad, and install it. Now restart your PC. After restart, open Virtual Controller again, and as you can see, Xbox 360 Controller is now installed. Then go to Physical and enable Keyboard. Remember to enable lock feature. Then go to mouse and do the same thing, do not enable lock feature here. In access settings, you can change your sensitivity. It's very personal setting, it depends from your mouse DPI, and from your game preferences, I personally keep it on 860%. Then go back to Anton's blog, and scroll down to Reconfigured RDR Bindings. From Google Drive, download only first file. Then go back to your virtual controller, and select Load. And open your file. Then go to Controls. If you see this, it means that your file has loaded successfully. As you can see, this file has assigned every button from Xbox, to keyboard buttons. Your keyboard is working now, but not the mouse. If you want to bind your mouse click Ctrl A. Then go to Tools, and click Device Replacement. Change this random mouse, to yours. Every mouse have a different size. If you want to check, is this mouse is really yours, you can check it in your devices. If you don't like the automatic assignment of a key, you can rebind it. Here is a short table with a quick instructions that will help you in a game. I suggest taking a screenshot of it. Keep in mind that RDR1, has never came out on PC. So you only have Xbox icons in the game. To launch Virtual Controller, click F5. To stop it, click Shift plus F5. To launch the game, open Xenia, click Open, and search for your folder. Open Red Dead file, and choose, default.xex. Now you can launch your virtual controller, and enable it using F5.
Click F11 to full screen your game. Now, you are basically ready to play. When you will start playing Red Dead Redemption 1, you may see one huge annoying problem. Which is this, the mouse cursor. There are basically three ways to get rid of it. First, is that you get used to it, and do not care that he exists. It's again, a personal thing. In my opinion he is just annoying. So, I will just show you how to get rid of it. The second way is the hardest one, just download any empty image, and go to any JPG to cur site, you just need file with no image. Then, open your settings. Go to devices. Choose mouse. And then click in additional mouse options. This window will pop out, go to pointers. Click browse and search for your cursor file. I am not gonna lie to you, this method is safe, but going to the Windows settings, every time when you launch the game is just, frustrating, so I can't recommend it. If you want your cursor back, just change cursor to any from this list, and choose default again. The best method is installing Cursor Hider program, this is my favorite one. The only catch is that, I don't really know does this contains a virus. Probably no, but keep that in mind. It will open automatically every time when you turn on your computer. Configuring it is the easiest part. Just set this to zero and choose any key on keyboard you want. I chose F6. Look how easy is this, now you see the cursor. And now you don't. Now I will show you a huge pro tip, when using virtual controller. You will see one huge problem, when you click something with your mouse. It will just crash, I mean look at this. It's basically making it impossible to use. But I've found a solution. I will just show you how to launch the game. Make a shortcut to Xenia. Then click F9 to open recent game. Then open virtual controller and turn it on with F5. Do not move your mouse, I suggest taking your hand off it. Then, it is very important, to click Alt plus Tab, and go to your game. By the way, here you can check if your patches have been applied. Your game saves will be staged here. You don't need any portable.txt file. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching. I wanted this guide to be full, and make it clear. I hope you had a nice time watching me, have a nice game. If you have any questions, write it down in a comment. See you. Bye guys.